Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi, my name is Natasha and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's video we are unboxing and taking a look at the Totem Guardians Oracle Deck by Tanya Bond. This is published by US Game Systems retailing for $17.95 in the US. And as always in the description box below, I will link where you can legitimately purchase this should you want to. And thank you so much to US Games for sending this deck our way. I am really excited. So Tanya Bond created the Totem Guardians Oracle deck as a tool for her own personal healing work, exploring lessons that others can easily integrate into their spiritual journeys. For the visual inspiration, she turned to the world of fauna familiars, presenting both natural and supernatural creatures. Some are magical and mythical, a few turn up as shapeshifters, all appear in harmony with their human companions. Each card delivers an empowering message that resonates with the archetypal energy of the animal it represents. Working with these 42 cards and 60 page booklet, you will find much encouragement and guidance. All right, well, that's exciting. I like the packaging. All right, there's the cards. So before we get into this, let's take a peek at the guidebook. And it just goes straight into the card meanings. And about the artist, very cool. Okay, the message in each card resonates with the archetypal energy of the animal it represents, the way it appears and behaves. Unlike most oracle decks, these cards are not meant to foretell your fortune, but rather bring you into a state of peace with the present moment and encourage you to contemplate your life from the neutral position of an observer. I recommend that you only pick one card at a time and sit with the message, exploring how it resonates with what you are going through on a given day. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to unwrap these and be right back. All right, there's the back of the card, pretty shell. And it's a little glossy. I wouldn't call it a high gloss, but there is that gloss coating there. Let's talk cardstock. Oh yeah, US Game Systems cardstock, very nice. It's sturdy, but very flexible, snapping right back after you bend it. All right. Very cool. Look at how pretty those eyes are. Nightingale for music. So we do have a number, the animal, and then a keyword. I'll say creature. Love it. The little Neptune trident. Whale with resonance. Frog dream world. Very cool. I like how they integrate the little creature with the human. That's very cool. Oh, how fun. <laughs> Goat resistance. The art is really cool. Snowy owl judgment. Bunny self talk. Unicorn uniqueness. Red crowned crane family beliefs. Butterfly patience. Zebra cycles or zebra. See them in the background. I like how you can see the canvas texture as well on the card. It, it's not textured the card itself, but you can see it in the art. I love that. Kiwi nature. Brown bear strength. Hawk Perspective. This is beautiful. 
Raccoon Resources. Eel, go with the flow. It still freaks me out that scientists have no idea how eels reproduce. <laughs> And now, how they came to be. <laughs> They're an enigma. Sheep, collective energies. Oh, that's so cute. The hairs in knitting needles. Oh my gosh. Creative. Mammoth, dream big. Cat. Your body. I love Sphinx cats. Oh my gosh. There's just something about them. Giraffe. Self-acceptance. Phoenix. Darkness. Wolf. Stories. Just want to boop a snoot. Crocodile, release. Armadillo, boundaries. Oyster, manifestation. Sloth, slow down. Cute. Sea turtle. Okay, I'm going to try to pronounce this. I know how it's supposed to sound, but me and my mouth just fumble a lot. So, ho-opo-no-pono. Yeah, I do apologize. Ho-opo-no-pono. Seal or Selkie, longings. Mouse, deer, self-care. <laughs> Look at this little buddy. I love this. Dove, forgiveness. Fox, empowerment. Ooh, snake, divine timing. Interesting. Spider patterns. Ugly duckling, discernment. Polar bear, quality. Ladybird, recovery. Dolphin, friendship. Oh, I love it. Oh, <laughs> bumble sheep, wonder. Reindeer, worthy. Ferret, royalty. Oh my goodness. Comet moth, shadow work. Secretary bird, rewrite. And the last one, hummingbird, lightness of being. It is absolutely gorgeous. The art style is phenomenal. I love how they combined the creatures with the humans and it was just super cool and unique. Love that it shuffles really nicely. I love the price tag. Way. Oh yeah. 
shuffle's nice. Okay, can we get a card to read, please? Armadillo Boundaries, number 23. All right, so they're all in order by number. Fantastic. We have a little depiction of the card and the keyword. Armadillo Spirit Animal Card is about staying strong within your power and maintaining healthy boundaries and energetic hygiene. Keep your awareness on how the outside world is affecting you, how food, drink, mo music, movies, images, conversation topics, and discussions make you feel and protect yourself from what doesn't resonate with you. Notice when you are being a people pleaser for the sake of keeping the peace on the outside, but at the cost of your internal well-being and self sense of self-worth. Claim your sovereignty and assert your needs and personal space when the situation calls for it. I love this. I think it's just enough information. I love that like the art depicts, you know, uh, intuitive hits as well. I think this is great. If you are somebody who is starting out on your Oracle journey, this could be a very great beginner friendly deck, whatever your, uh, level of reading, this is perfect. Great for a daily pull. I love that uh, she suggests that in her book as well, like sit with one card a day and see how you feel. It's a great way to learn the deck too, to see what energies you pick up on. Uh, I love that there's also the like fantasy creatures in here as well. The art is just beautiful. So, so cool. It's a very unique and different deck. Um, great for healing, I think. Um, and just to sit with your feelings and do a little bit of some... I don't want to say shadow work, but that could be it. But um, do some healing and journal your feelings. Journal what comes up when you pull the card uh, and, and sit with the art and see what comes up through the art as well. I think it's beautiful. Um, kudos to Tanya for creating this for her own healing journey. So maybe if you are someone who is on your own healing journey, this could help you as well. But if that is not your forefront of uh, concern. This is a great deck to just help you connect with your intuition, connect with yourself, as well as a good confirmation deck too. Uh, daily pull, like I said, fantastic. I'm excited to get to know this a little bit deeper. And thank you so much to US Game Systems for sending this our way. Now I'm curious to know what you think about this deck. Is this something you're excited about? Is this something that you have heard of before this video? Let me know all of your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I love you and I like you. My voice is finally back. So yay. <laughs> If you haven't done so already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you will never miss an upload from me. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye!